Hello friends. Welcome to Tech Talks Engineer channel. Today we will see, what is power factor. And hence we will see the difference between KVA and KW. First let's see, what is power factor. In simple words power factor is a measure of effective use of electric power. That means more the power factor, better is the power usage. Power factor is nothing but the angle between voltage and current which is phase difference between voltage and current. Hence power factor is directly related to phase difference between voltage and current. Here we can see phasor diagram of voltage and current of AC power supply. If we consider voltage as reference, and phi as the angle between voltage and current, then power factor is cos of phi. Now let's consider waveforms of voltage and current. This is voltage waveform. Voltage equation is V equals Vm sine omega t where Vm is peak value of voltage. Omega equals to 2 pi f, where f is frequency. T is time. Current equations will be different based on phase difference between voltage and current. Let's consider three cases. One current in phase with voltage. This means phase difference between voltage and current is zero, means phi is zero. Hence current equation is I equals I'm sin omega T similar equation and phasor diagram as that of voltage, where I'm is peak value of current. Omega equals to 2 pi F, F is frequency, T is time. This is how phasor diagram looks like, current in phase with voltage. 2 current leads voltage. This means that phi is positive. Hence equation of current is I equals I'm sin omega T plus phi. Current leads voltage in capacitive circuit or load. This is how phasor diagram looks like. Current leads voltage. 3 current lags voltage. This means that phi is negative. Hence equation of current is I equals I'm sin omega T minus phi. Current lags voltage in inductive circuit or load. Generally any household or industrial load is inductive in nature. This is how phasor diagram looks like. Current lags voltage. Now let's see why there is phase difference between voltage and current of AC power at first place. As we know that phase difference is nothing but the time difference between voltage and current propagation. Phase difference is mainly due to frequency of AC power supply. Due to its alternating nature AC power has frequency which causes phase difference between voltage and current, in both inductive and capacitive circuit. In DC power circuit there is no frequency, Hence no phase difference between voltage and current and hence power factor is unity. This leads us to the topic of active power and reactive power. What is active power? And what is reactive power? In simple words, active power is useful power by which load performs its function. Reactive power exists mainly due to inductive and capacitive properties of circuit or load which is consumed for charging of circuits or loads. This power moves back and forth in between source and load. Hence reactive power does not contribute directly to load function. For better understanding let's see power triangle. In this power triangle this is active power denoted as P, this is reactive power denoted as Q, and this is vector addition of active and reactive power called as apparent power denoted as S. As we saw only this active power is useful power. Again these three types of power exist because of phase angle which is phase difference between voltage and current. Hence active and reactive powers are also related directly to power factor. Now let's look at the relation between active power and reactive power. As we know active power P equals V I cos phi and reactive power Q equals V I sin phi where V is voltage, I is current and phi is phase difference between voltage and current. Also in the diagram we can see that, apparent power is vector addition of active and reactive power. Hence apparent power S equals vector P plus vector Q so S equals V I cos phi plus V I sin phi also it is represented as S equals P plus J Q and in magnitude or scalar form it is given as S equals square root of P square plus Q square. These equations are used in many active and reactive power related calculations. So guys this is about power factor active and reactive power. Hope you liked the video. If yes please hit the like button and please comment your feedback. For more videos, please subscribe. Thank you.